Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nerd Den here and today I'm going to be talking about the Lone Cyberman and how this particular Cyberman will be appearing in this week's episode that is the haunting of the Villa Diotti, something like that. This episode has been a little bit weird in the way it's been advertised as it's been advertised as a ghost story with Mary Shelley who is the author of Frankenstein, but when this episode is set, it's before she's written it. So, hmm, what inspires her to write Frankenstein? And, uh, well, there's something that's really interesting that I want to show you. So this is off the website that, um, is Cultbox, and, uh, yeah, essentially, the, um, there's some new images for the episode that shows Mary Shelley and the Doctor and Lord Byron, and uh, Percy Bysh Shelley, and uh, so he's not actually married to her yet as well, that's something to keep in mind. And uh, so there we've got Dr. John Poldry, Lord Byron, and Claire Clement. Um, and then we've got Mary Godwin with Ryan Yaz. And yeah, it's very interesting because there's a ghost in the house apparently, and it's a haunted house. But something really interesting though, because if we keep a scroll down to the bottom, keep scrolling, 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 and the above are not the most terrifying appearances at the villa. A visit from an even more terrifying guest is yet to come. And there you go, that's the synopsis as well. The Doctor and gang arrive at the villa. And it's just like the day and time on a night that inspired Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. The plan is to spend the evening soaking up the Atmos in the presence of some literary greats. But the ghosts are all too real and the Doctor is forced to into a decision of earth-shattering proportions. So yeah, the decision could relate to what Captain Jack said about the Lone Cyberman and, and, and it was a warning for the Doctor not to give the Lone Cyberman what it wants. So when it shows up, maybe there's something that happens that she is forced to kind of deal with it. And that leads to the Cyber Army that is featured in the two-part series finale that is going to be so epic and I cannot wait to see it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section about this episode. Are you excited for it? Are you excited for the return of the Cyberman? But it's going to be pretty awesome and I cannot wait. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.